Seeing those portraits on Buckingham Palace tonight will be a really special, magical opportunity for the children because every single one of their portraits is going to be up there in the montage of the Queen. This is my portrait and I got inspired to make it because I like the difference in colours. I feel very proud to have my portrait being projected onto Buckingham Palace. My teacher took a photo of me, then I took it back in class and I drew a pattern. I chose the Union Jacks because of the Jubilee. I think it's a really, really good opportunity to allow all children, no matter what their background, to become involved in the arts. I feel very, very um, special. It feels special. When my portrait goes up on Buckingham Palace, I'm going to be really humbled. The guys here have produced so much different stuff, models, masks, paintings, sketches, so I think it's really exciting to see how creative kids are and we should honour that and what better way to honour it than letting them put their work on Buckingham Palace. We've had so many different opportunities um, to do different types of art and I think the children have really benefited from every one of them. I think people underestimate children so often and it's so easy to patronise them. I guess with children in the arts you're just giving them a loads of tools to explore and create and do whatever they want to do. Action! My portrait is a, a, um, a leg on a skateboard. I think the Princess Foundation for Children in the Arts is a fantastic charity because it allows so many children who may not have an opportunity to be involved in arts to be involved and that's just brilliant. I can't wait! Very excited! <laughs> the self-portrait, I've never done something like that ever in my life, like something beautiful like that. I feel like my portrait's on there. Wow! Face Britain's the biggest project we've ever been involved in. I think it's had a huge impact and I think way beyond our expectations. Virtually every child has taken it seriously, they've produced really interesting work, uh, no matter what age they are, and they've submitted them. So quite clearly it's touched a nerve in terms of creativity, in terms of how children see themselves and how they want to be seen, and their idea about mass participation, that's just fantastic. It's brilliant. I'd love to do more art um, because it doesn't matter what you do, it's just about yourself and what you want to do and you can be as creative as you like. I think this is extraordinary. Yay! We should continue our bread and butter work, our normal day-to-day -day work with disadvantaged children, but equally we should not ignore the fact that there's an enormous amount of pent-up creativity among all of the children around the country and we need to keep tapping into that in various ways. Making it was really fun um, but this was more amazing than I expected. I had no idea what it would look like at all. I felt really proud of myself. Well, we, we needed to create a, a piece using these 200,000 individual uh, children's portraits and we were absolutely determined that every child's uh, artwork would be used to create the, the, the complete artwork. I like um, the Queen because it's got so many pictures inside. Like You can see the pixels flying together to create the, the individual portraits of the Queen. The portrait itself, that took uh, about four months of going backwards and forwards between myself and the guy who was writing the code. I, I really got into the idea of you know kids and, and bright colours and paint. So, uh, I quite like the idea of uh, a book in a palace being covered in, uh, in splashes of paint. I think this is such a fantastic example of what the Princess Foundation for Children and the Arts can achieve. It can achieve important things with individual children, it can change their lives with uh, giving them access to the arts, but equally it can do something on a much larger scale that convinces the whole country that the creativity, the innovation amongst children is something that has to be celebrated.